the quest for magic gold. In the land of Anitgartal, there were no humans at all. Instead, there were animals, talking animals. They could speak like humans, but only knew one language, English. There were a few white bears, Mr. White by, Mrs. White by, Lil White by, and Lol White by. There was a hedgehog family, Mr. Prickle, Mrs. Prickle, Prook Prickle, and Preak Prickle. There was a mouse family, Mr. Squeak, Mrs. Squeak, Suki Squeak, and Seagy Squeak. And of course, there was the chief elephant. So you can understand, this was a very small city. There were only 13 animals living here. One sunny morning in Anitgartl, Miss Prickle was hanging her clothes on the Prickle family's washing line when she saw something very out of the ordinary. She knew there was something wrong with the clouds, and then she realized that the outlines of the clouds were faintly pulsing. Gold and faint golden, gold and faint golden, and so on. It was early in the morning, and the cloud shouldn't have been glowing like that. She called the chief elephant immediately, and the chief elephant called a meeting. He hadn't noticed that. So, the animals came to the assembly point and discussed the matter. This is very unusual, squeaked Miss Squeak. Hello, bellowed the chief elephant. I think we must investigate. I found this piece of paper on the floor, squeaked Siggy. I think it might help. It says that the clouds are bouncing like this as there are pieces of magic gold on top of each cloud. Each bar contains the power to give you infinite food supplies. Good luck! Oh, there's such a generous thing to us! cried Mr. Mr. Prickle. Woohoo! everyone shouted. Ahem! said the chief elephant, and everyone fell silent. Now we must think how to get up to the clouds. Everyone thought long and hard. They couldn't think of anything. Wings needed too much material, propellers would need too much electricity, and boosters would be hard to control. Just when every thought all was lost, Lil White Boy thought of an idea that wouldn't be hard to control, wouldn't need too much electricity, and wouldn't wouldn't need too much material either. He had thought of the revolutionary idea. Balloons! What about balloons? he asked. Everyone was taken aback. A youngster thinking of the revolutionary idea? Whoopee! Everyone cried in joy. Your plan shall work best, son, said Mr. Whiteboy. I've got the big hot air balloon, cried Mr. Prickle, and it's big enough to keep Chief afloat high up in the air. I shall let Miss Prickle and Lil White Bite afloat up with me, bellowed the Chief Elephant. Get four medium-sized balloons, and Mr. Prickle, get your hot air balloon. An hour later, Lil White Bite was tied to a balloon, and Miss Prickle was tied to three balloons. The chief elephant, elephant was tied to his hot air balloon. They floated into the sky, caught the magic gold and floated down. Now they had infinite food. Thank you. Story by Adri Dre and narrated by Adri Dre.